In this Final Cut Pro quick tip, I'll show you how to add a glitch effect to your video, so don't go away. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, where we review tech related to making YouTube videos and sometimes we do Final Cut Pro tutorials just like this one. So if you're liking this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. So adding a glitch effect in a video can be quite a cool way to add a little bit of visual interest. And luckily it's super easy, so we'll get straight into the tutorial. But make sure you stay till the end for a bonus tip that'll save you tons of time. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. I've added uh, some footage to the timeline that I want to add a glitch to. So this is the introduction to a video. So I thought at the beginning of the intro, we'll just have a little glitch around here. So the point at what I want to put the, bl the glitch, I will blade the clip and I'll move ahead a few frames and I'll blade it again. So this segment in here is the one that we want to add the glitch effect to. So the best way to do it is go over to the effects browser, go up to all, click on all, go down to search and search for bad TV. Okay, bad TV is the effect that we want. It looks like that, gives it a bit of a shaky look and some lines. So we'll drag and drop that onto the clip. And if we go and play that, job done. But what I want to do is have some sound as well. So I've got a distortion wave that I will drag and drop down there. Now what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below so you can grab this wave as well. I'm going to drag that underneath the glitchy bit and I'm just going to trim it so it's the same length. So if we play that, let's see what happens. Pretty cool. So what I like to do is actually have two glitches so a longer one and a shorter one. So if I zoom in, I'm going to put another one here. So I'm going to blade, go just along a little bit, blade that. I'm going to then take the original glitch clip. I'm going to go Command C to copy. Then I'm going to select the bit where I want to have the same effect and I'm going to go shift command V that brings up the paste attributes box and you can see if we've made any changes to the attributes of the clip that we've copied from it will show up here as you can see we've got the bad TV effect so I'll paste that in so that will save me having to go across to the effects browser again then I'm going to take this distortion clip I'm going to hold down the option key and drag it over and then I'm just going to resize that to the same amount. So now if we can have a look at what that looks like and listens like. Hey guys, so expectations are... Let me do it again. Hey guys. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now just as a bit of an extra, there are lots of different glitch effects that you can download from various sources, but this, this is one that Final Cut Pro has built in. If we just go down here and type wavy, now I've downloaded another one from a company called VFX Effects, which I kind of like. It gives it an even more sort of distorted effect. So if I go and drag and drop that onto both of these, it gives it even more of a glitchy effect. Let's see what that looks like. Hey guys. Yeah, I really quite like that. So that's from VFX Effects. I'll put a link, uh, sorry, VFX Nuts. I'll put a link in the description below where you can have a look at that one as well. It is a paid effect. Um, but with a number of the effects in Final Cut Pro, you can just layer them, you can just throw them on. So there's another one called uh, Earthquake, which is a built-in effect. You can drag that over and that gives it even more of a shaky effect. So again, you can just layer these different effects on uh, to get the sort of look that you want. But I think that combined with the sound gives it that neat little sort of glitch effect and I think it's quite good to do at the beginning of a clip to make it look like the transmission is starting or something like that. And now for the bonus tip. 
If you add multiple effects to clips like we did here, it can get a bit tiresome dragging and dropping them all individually each time. Luckily, there's a way to save all of those adjustments as an effects preset. So you just drag and drop the preset onto the clip you want to adjust, and luckily for you, I've made a quick tips video on exactly how to do that. So click on the thumbnail here, and I'll see you over there. Cheers, guys.